So, I've been down here mining, and, um, oh, that's not good. I haven't been very lucky, though. I mean, I found some iron, you know, um, this big pool of lava. Yeah, some coal, lapis. Redstone. Yeah, haven't been very. Haven't found any diamonds yet. So, I'm gonna keep mining for a little while and see what happens. Alright, so we are back here. I've done a little bit of work. Um, I made cake and I fixed my um, chests here I added in this walkway and a piston thing over there I'll go over there right now so I just have a button there temporarily but there's a piston there a water block so when you hit the button, that'll go down. The water will be let out. So anyway, down there, I found a bunch of stuff. I now have almost six stacks of coal. I got a lot of lapis too. Nine diamonds in total. And a lot of everything. So, um... Yeah. I'm going to make a diamond pick. And I'm also going to, um, do stuff. Yeah, because I want to make an enchantment table. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to make a whole new room thing for that. So, see you in a little while. Alright, so let's try out this harvester thing again. I have a pressure plate now. Oh. 
get stuck somewhere. I'll have to try to improve this. Hmm. I should just build a whole new farm. That would probably be better. But anyway, this is my enchantment thing here. My table. And I have a cave back here. I gotta be putting bookshelves around here also. Before I start enchanting anything. So, yeah. I also want to make a mob farm sometimes so I can get some more experience. And then I can do all those upper level enchantments. The silk touch and whatnot. It'd be cool. So, yeah. There's my three buildings. So I think I might use this big tree to my advantage. I might build a hostile mob farm up there and then have them fall down through a hole in the middle and then have a collection thing at the bottom. I'll try it out, see if it works. If that doesn't work, I'll just build one over there, I guess. Or maybe over there. So. I'll be working on that and I'll be back when I have something done. So I have a platform up there now and I just have to build that up to make a big dark room and then have something where they fall through and I can kill them at the bottom and then get the XP. I know it won't be really that as efficient as like if I had a spawner from a dungeon and then had them all like collect somewhere and I could kill them but I haven't found any dungeons or anything yet so this is what I have for now and I really want to get more XP so I can do some enchanting there really are no mobs around here since it's so well lit um, no hostile mobs or even passive ones uh, for some reason they're all like over there and the hostile ones I saw a few that way a few that way um, yeah, not many in this world. Uh, that's kind of weird. Oh well, I'll continue work. There it is, complete. I'll have to test it out pretty soon. Nothing? Hmm. Nothing. Okay. Maybe I need a bigger room up there or something. I don't know. I would think that they would spawn in anything dark. I'll have to look at that. I'm going to walk up here to this little sand thing, and I'm going to see, do you see what I see? Can you see it? There's a cart track down there. That's an abandoned mine shaft. Hmm. 
What about over here? Some iron. Definitely mark this. Come on. Okay. I think I found all the animals. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. All right, come on. Good animals. Good. I lost one of the pigs along the way. It's not. That's all right. All right, all right. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I did. Hey, sheep. Come on. So anyway, I'm here in the abandoned mine shaft. These are the rails we saw from up above. I tunneled down with the staircase. And then I walked a little bit. Saw this iron right here. I might as well grab it. And then I walked a little bit further this way. And what did I notice? Some animals, for some reason. And a chest. I have not opened it yet. Let us see what is in it. Oh, that is a good chest. Awesome. Seven ingots, seven lapis, a gold, and two diamonds. That's amazing. Right off the bat, I found all that stuff. So I'm back at home. It's night. I'm up here. I'm going to see if anything spawns here. I might have to be camped out close to it for anything to spawn. I don't know. But I'm just going to wait out the night, see if anything spawns out here. Because usually I use the bed at night to fast forward. Well, I saw a bunch of mobs. They all despawned, it seems like. There was a bunch of zombies and two creepers over there. There was a zombie over there. There's a spider over there. There's a one creeper over there. So, I'm thinking if I want to kill stuff, I better go out at night. So, and nothing spawned over there. Nothing spawned in the mob spawner thingy. It doesn't work. Probably needs to be bigger. Well, um, I ended up dying that night, and I lost a lot of my experience. Um, so, I'm going to try to be more careful from now on. Just from that. Uh, that was not very fun. So, I hope you liked the episode. This is the end of episode two, and I'll see you next time.